Um, we're here at Penn Bugle Farm. Um, we've been here now five years, Lizzie? Five years. We've moved down here from Shaftesbury. The reason for the move, it was this was a, um, a bigger farm. It gave us a chance to try and uh, do what we wanted to do and hopefully commercially farm, but in an organic way. The farm itself is situated between Liscard, the you know, old market town, and Lou, right down on the sea um, here in Cornwall. Um, we can, if we look over in that direction, you can just about see snowy Dartmoor um, and Plymouth, and the sea is literally over there, and then we're sort of in here, cosy, at the top of the valley. It's quite lovely. The sheep that you're seeing in the background are the Pole Dorset flock which we currently lamb in um, November. Um, we've got about 150 of these. The other flock we have, the Chlin, I think is the proper pronunciation. Um, I haven't got the Welsh twang, I'm afraid. They are a very prolific breed and we lamb them in the spring. Most usual lamb once a year in the spring, but the Pole Dorset for some reason has the ability to uh, lamb at any time of year. Generally what triggers a ewe to come in the season is diminishing daylight. It doesn't seem to have any effect on these chaps. Well, I think it does, but uh, to, to a lesser extent. We can now supply lamb to be eaten at um, Easter, uh, whereas before it was always perceived that they were born at Easter, but Easter lamb now seems to be that people want lamb at Easter. Um, both, both very much farming families, um, several generations back actually. When I was um, a wee lad, mother used to have orphan lambs. It started off with one little thing called Twiggy, which was a Dorset horn. And then mum ended up having a flock of 16 Dorset horns. And I missed them. <laughs> Where's mum? But there's, there's, a, there's a noise coming from behind him, so... I I think he's got a head of mum. Not sure who mum is though. Got a bit of a sore throat by the sounds of it. Off he goes. <laughs> That's mum at the gate. He's now got to try and find his way back through. Good girl, good girl. Meg, away! She's absolutely wonderful. She'll shift to anything. Whether you've got any regulation over the speed is a different uh, idea. Good girl, steady. No, don't then. Come by. Meg, wait. I saw that. Meg win. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lie down. Stay. 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 How long does she take the train? Um, do you want my honest answer? Yeah. <laughs> I bought a train. <laughs> I'm sorry, guilty. Um, with Dorsets, they're incredibly stubborn and we needed a strong dog. And as you can see, she doesn't take any messing. Uh, oh, steady, Meg, steady. So therefore, I wanted one that I knew would do the job. Yeah. She, she's definitely capable of everything we want to do. It's just whether I can keep up with her. Good girl, steady Meg. Where's she going now? Wait, steady. Oh. Being organic, because you haven't got the medicines to just go and jab something and rely on that, you've got to try and be almost one step ahead, sort of try and get to it before it becomes a major problem. He twisted his knee. You feel that? Oh, sweetheart, you've got a lump in it. Swollen. No, it's no heat there, though, is there? Yes, there is. Is there? Yes. So what are you going to do then? Belladonna? Belladonna. Mouth? Mm. Homeopathic medicines. Lizzie has done the course at Homeopathic. Yeah, at Wellyboot level. Welly level. It is the basics, but it's, it's enough to be able to treat your farm animals or your pets, um, or even us, us humans, because I do it on, on the family as well. Yeah, we're um, and It's just, you know, just enough to sort of help. It's, it's more of a complimentary, but we've actually found that in 
some situations it's it's actually reduced um, the veterinary treatments oh no need, question um, mm. which means less antibiotic um, or when we do get to a stage where the antibiotic has to be used it's it works better because they're not always having that sort of treatment the sheep are happy I mean obviously the less you can do to them the, the happier they are um, and, and the lambs are quite, you know, quite healthy and strong and it's been been very very good